Police were Monday guests at the IABC offices located in Anniversary Towers for the third week in a row. Nairobi police boss Japheth Kome maintaining that they would not tolerate any attempt to disrupt peace in the Nairobi CBD. Where any Kenyan is not happy with any public officer or state officer, let that uh, um, fellow Kenyan use the right procedure for his grievances to be addressed. But where use a law for means, where use the law of the jungle, that will not be allowed. But first, the anti-riot officers took breakfast, may be aware of the long day ahead. And soon, the normal picketing and slogan chants filled the air as code supporters started congregating. Anti-riot officers in their full regalia watching from a distance. However, unlike other Mondays, a number of protesters had crude weapons. But no sooner had the code leaders arrived than tear gas filled the air. And a few protesters were not lucky as they were caught by the long arm of the law after engaging in acts of lawlessness. In Kisumu County, it was same script, different cast as three members of the county assembly and several protesters were injured during the anti IEBC demonstrations. Business was paralyzed in Kisumu CBD as police and protesters engaged in running battles. Similar scenes were witnessed in Machakos where local leaders, accompanied by their supporters, stormed the lower eastern IABC headquarters. Tunaita Machosi Monday, manake ni siku ambaye, tutakuwa tutakusanyika hapa, kila siku ya jumatatu, ili tuwazingatie hawa IABC dio waeshimu sheria za injijetu ya Kenya. The demos were led by Deputy Governor Bernard Kiala and Women Representative Dr. Susan Musioka. It is yet another Monday here in Nairobi CBD and the police had to use tear gas canisters to disperse mammoth crowd of court supporters who had camped outside IEBC offices. And now the big question remains for how long will, will we have running battles every Monday in CBD? Only time will tell. Reporting for KBC Channel 1, I'm Ron Clifford Dit from Nairobi Town.